Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our message for whenever you are running across it. Now I am out in nature, as you can see, you'll hear the hummingbirds, you also hear the wind, <laughs> but I think we're going to be good. So I just wanted to start out while I was out in nature uh, and start out with a little bit of a message. And if you're coming across this, you are probably dealing with a lot of burnout or obsessive thinking or obsessive worrying just feeling like things are falling apart and i feel you all right i've already been going through that myself as a matter of fact i made sure i stayed in bed a little bit longer <laughs> this morning made sure that i did all of my meditating and then it is a spectacular day. I'll put in some footage here so you can see where I am hiking. But I wanted to get out here and just enjoy the sunshine, the, the crystal blue sky, the beautiful trees, the birds, all of it, and detoxify. If you guys are not familiar with Archangel Ariel, Archangel Ariel is associated, one of the archangels that is associated with nature, animals, detoxifying. Give some kids playing in the background. That's really cute. <laughs> Detoxifying. And when you work with Archangel Ariel to help lighten your load, what ends up happening, again, there's this detoxifying effect first. So there will be all of these thoughts and emotions that start popping up as you're trying to connect and, you know, not wanting to let go of things that you feel like you need to have control over, right? Because if we have control over it, it can't get away from us, it can't harm us, right? So, what will happen when you're, especially out in nature, <laughs> if you can get out into nature, do it. Uh, what will happen is all these thoughts will start flipping up and you'll feel this nice, beautiful presence that says, no, that's a story you're telling yourself. No, that's temporary. No, that does not define you. And that is going to help you come to these realizations. Now, if you're somebody who is still in a pained state or um, you're feeling like you have to live on the defensive or what have you, I mean, you might still go, no, 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 no. Things just never work out for me, right? And you might still be in that space. But uh, as much as you can, try to keep working with Archangel Ariel. Archangel Ariel also helps with material manifestations. So if you are somebody who, like most people, you're worrying about, am I gonna have a roof over my head? Can I afford food? And, you know, can I sustain myself on a little bit of nothing, <laughs> right? What am I working towards? Uh, am I appreciated? You know, you might be going through all of those things, all the material uh, worries. Archangel Ariel can help you be clear to understand solutions around that. Maybe it is learning how to have a happier life with less. Maybe it is getting a different job. Maybe it's taking a side gig. Maybe it's turning your hobby into a business. You know, whatever it is, you'll get that inspiration that fills you up. So I associate Archangel Ariel, everybody has their perspective, but I associate Archangel Ariel with the root chakra, okay? Now you might wanna work with Archangel Ariel and also Gabriel to help with the sacral chakra. Again, every angel medium out there has a different association with the different chakras. If you come across one of them too, call in those archangels too. I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything, right? <laughs> but work with them because, you know, not just the root chakra, but also the sacral chakra helps with money flow and creative solutions. So you want to feel at ease. And in this day and age, a lot of people's sacral chakra is a mess, okay? I'm putting that in a very human way, but it's a mess, okay? <laughs> right? But if we work on that and we give ourselves time to heal, so not everything is gonna make sense um, right away. I'm just gonna adjust here. Look at that little blur in the background, interesting. Anyway, <laughs> if, if we allow that all to heal and we're not clicking into this expectation of this is what I think it should be, wind. gonna wait on the wind because <laughs> I'll get all the comments saying oh I couldn't hear you um, when we open up ourselves and, and don't have that expectation we're not tracking down the results we leave space for things to come in right so again I'm right there with all of you and you can't see it when I go on a hike there are butterflies everywhere again the hummingbirds are all over the place I'm in a gorgeous gorgeous location here in Colorado Springs but you know when we get into that space uh, it's time to take a break again that whole idea of burnout I was just getting ready to say I, I was feeling that this morning um, feeling a little disheartened about the state of things 
not only in my own life as an individual, but out in the collective and wondering where things are going. And again, stopping, getting out into nature, breathe it out. <laughs> Just breathe it out. Now, the other thing that is coming up here is that we, there's a shift in perspective that's happening, happening for you if you're watching this video, if you came across it. So the way I want to describe this is that it really, I mean, for some of you, it's going to be letting go of past approaches. So past, like these old emotions, these things that really just seem to have a lot of control over you, letting that go and say, no, you don't get to have my energy anymore. No, I'm not, I'm not going to go down that road anymore. So there is that. And then there is uh, this feeling of rediscovery. So you might, um, you know, just go, hey, you know what? I used to love doing X, Y, and Z. Let me, let me go back and explore that. An example, I was always interested in photography. Never got into it, but now, you know, I'm gonna be starting a blog, by the way. Uh, so I'll give some announcements here in just a moment, but um, I'm gonna need to take self-portraits to keep, uh, you know, keep the blog fresh. So I'm like, I don't know how to do that. And I'm so awkward when I, you know, do the things and the thing and the posing. How do you do that? <laughs> how do you do it yourself? But I am feeling this upliftment and this inspiration in learning something new. And I'm looking forward to that. That has changed my energy, okay? So I feel like, again, if you're someone across this video right now, it's possible that it's time to take up a, a new thing that can light up your heart. But again, where can you pick up something that makes you feel excited again? Because I think that's what, we're, we're still coming out of, um, you know, this horrible thing that happened around the world. So where can we get ourselves unstuck? Again, tapping into something that makes you happy. And maybe you say, well, I don't know what makes me happy anymore. When was the last time you allowed yourself to just sit down and read a book? When was the last time you really came across an author, a musician that really just inspired you? And start checking out some online forums because the publishing industry, um, you guys know I'm familiar with it if you follow my channel, it is changing drastically. And I, I think a lot of authors are getting fed up. Basically, you have to have gone viral if you're going to get a book contract or you get lucky or whatever. There's a lot of authors out there who are just tired of the song and dance. And so they're taking matters into their own hands, not just in self-publishing, but going on to things like Substack. I have a newsletter I'm going to be doing on Substack. I have portions of my book going up there. Uh, so the link is in the description box if you wanna check that out. But other authors are doing things like that as well. So don't, you know, don't just think that everything has to be the old way, that's the point. Go explore. If you are an author, go explore where you can put your, your work and don't allow your creativity to be stifled by the business end of things, right? Or if you're a musician, an artist, you know, whatever it is, find a platform for your work. If you're sitting here saying, there goes the hummingbird. <laughs> if you're sitting here saying, well, I don't, I'm not really into any of that. You're into something, right? You're into something. Take a baking class, pottery, I don't know, take up hiking, you know, do whatever you're gonna do, right? But find something that lights up your heart and really it's about diminishing the stress because if we don't diminish that stress and don't here comes the wind lines up the message really does come down to find a way to not let stress run your life and i know that's easier said than done but again take a moment get in nature take a class read a book listen to some good music Allow yourself to do this. It's not selfish and it's not a waste of time. That's a big message here. It is not a waste of time to, to free up your energy because when you do that, now you're becoming this manifestation magnet. And, and that is the place we wanna be in. When you're more in touch with your internal voice, your real feelings, not what society tells us we should want, but your real feelings, now you can be a powerful manifester. Maybe you don't need everything that you have been begging for out of desperation. Because what that does is it ends up making you think or feel that your life isn't enough as it is. And that's going to work against you. 
So give yourself some time. I'm gonna wait until I'm back home to pull some cards because that would be a nightmare. <laughs> but if you are interested in a personal reading with me, go to angelsouls444.com. And if you are seeing this before June 13th, 2022, I am having a live event. Actually, it's a whole four part series on the Bright platform. The series is available at a discount for a short time. And then after that, it will be sold per session. So if you want the discount for all four, make sure you use the link in the description box to get your ticket. I mentioned Substack, and of course I have Patreon. Just for a dollar a month, you can get extra content over there. The wind's picking up. Let me go for my little hike. I got my good cowgirl hat here with the rope on a day like this because it is imperative if it goes to blow off. <laughs> so let's get on with our hike. All right, let's get on to the Oracle cards portion of this reading. I decided to do it on a different day. I was a little tired after my hike. <laughs> I ended up going on another trail that I didn't mean to and uh, was doing a hike that was way longer than anybody should ever have to do. So let's get going with this. Just as a reminder, if you want a personal reading with me, go to angelsouls444.com. What's gonna be happening there is I can tune into your guardian angels and give you messages, and I can see what archangels are around you, give you messages from them, or maybe it's just a message from that archangel that they would like to work with you. So sign up for that, or you can do an Akashic Records reading. So with those, I think this is just kind of where we are as a humanity maybe. <laughs> but when I tap in, there's usually a timeline that you could learn a lot from where you're still carrying some issues. That's just how it's been going right now. I'm sure that will evolve. But again, check that out. And if you are watching this before June 13th, make sure that you sign up for the Archangel Connection Intensive Series because it's gonna be a limited time on when you can get the whole series at a discount. Then it'll go individual uh, session ticket sales, okay? Information is in the description box. Check out Patreon for a dollar a month. You get extra content. And I have lots of writing over at Substack. I started my blog again. It's a whole thing. Okay, so, yeah. Let me, let me fill this out here. So we have four of Michael, and this card says insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll put these all up here in a second. And then we have perspective, Archangel Shamuel. So Shamuel is all about living your potential and learning to love yourself, learning to connect in with the love of life. And this Archangel is also associated with love partnership and this says there's a better way. <laughs> Pause for reflection and insight, dare to be different. So the old way is not working. Now, for a lot of you, the world has just changed so much and we are discovering that the old way of doing things, I mean, it's just, you might be feel like, feeling like you're spinning your wheels or you're just ready to say, you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna go on vacation. <laughs> Catch up to me when you know what you're doing, right? And then we have this fresh start here. And this is Page of Gabriel. It says, energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. So there needs to be a fresh start because look what we have here, 10 of Michael. So this is an ending. This is a major ending. And this is turning your world upside down. Now, let me read this one. The 10 of Michael says, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So this really is knowing your worth first and foremost. If you, I hear from lots of people, they're job hunting because obviously the pandemic really, really did a number on us, right? <laughs> so people are out there trying to be in the job market and we're running across recruiters that don't know to scroll through a portfolio or they're not reading a resume or people come back and say, I'm more than qualified for this job. And they were asking me these silly questions or uh, writers and artists out there. If you have a recruiter that wants a very specific sample, that I've heard is usually a red flag because 
they're trying to get free content out of you. So just be careful if you are job hunting, but this definitely feels like on the whole, it's a lifestyle change. So that could be, okay, I am done with this type of exercise, or I'm done with this kind of health routine, what have you. But it's really about career. <laughs> it's about, or whatever it is that you do day in and day out. It's how you spend your time. So there's definitely this feeling here of, I am burned out on the old way. Check out my blogs and everything, because especially the one over at Substack. Um, and I have my first chapter of my book up there, and I'm gonna be doing an ebook type thing on angels and spirituality over there as well. And you can follow along with that process. Um, but yeah, the, the old way has just completely burned us out. I feel like this is a big thing of, I'm tired of being undervalued. I'm tired of being used, I'm tired of being used. We're really waking up to control structures. I use real estate as real estate and banking. I use those as examples all the time, right? Or the IRS can, take their sweet time getting your refunds to you if you're in the United States, but you know, you better pay your bills on time. It's that sort of thing. So we're waking up to this and saying, we're not gonna take it. Now there is a messy period here where it's like, okay, the structure, the old structure hasn't completely come down yet, come down yet. And we yet have to um, find our way forward. So it's gonna come slowly. It's gonna come step by step. But the page of Gabriel does talk about you know, we, we learn how to work with this new perspective. And it does feel like starting over and learning the new way. It's, it's gonna be a bit bumpy at first, but we're taking a stand. We're taking a stand and saying no. Now for some of you, yes, this could be a relationship. There are no like overtly like loving cards, except like the Archangel Shamuel. Hi, okay. <laughs> Archangel Shamuel showing up on this card. Uh, this might be, I'm giving this love partnership a rest or um, ending it, or I'm ending the way, you know, I've allowed people to talk to me, what have you. Now, I'm gonna move on to the Archangel Michael deck here. So this, uh, again, if you're watching this before June 13th, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm doing a live on the Bright platform. And the first one is going to be connecting the first one of the series is going to be connecting with Archangel Michael. So that is on June 13th. Make sure you sign up if you are interested. Let's see what else we have here by way of messaging. This one's, oh, I got them. Okay. <laughs> Make a commitment. So commit to yourself. And again, that's what Archangel Shamuel represents as well. This says Archangel Michael, as the angel of courage and confidence, I call upon you to lend me your strength. See, that's where this is playing in. It's gonna take some strength to uh, let go of a situation, basically. Uh, allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. So that's what this is talking about. We have a major change coming up. It will happen probably, it'll start now when you, whenever you see this video and it'll probably go on for three weeks after. That's what I'm feeling, okay. Your home is protected by angels. This is very, important because again, our basic human right to have shelter is being threatened and not for any good reason except for greed. All right. So this says, Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door. That feels like, um, I am getting this message here. If someone comes and wants to buy your house because they want to tear it down and like build a condo building, that's been happening all over here in Colorado Springs. Historical homes have been ripped down to make room for condos. So this is saying, you know, have courage and strength and your home is protected, okay? Uh, ensuring its security. So let me read that again. I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances. That's another one so that I can easily afford to pay rent, mortgage, or taxes. So this really is saying, okay, we're gonna start protecting the innocent here and, we, I don't think we're gonna see it right away, but we're gonna start seeing some, some crackdowns. Maybe there'll be new laws put into place where you're not allowed to do, you know, certain things like suck up all the real estate to manipulate the market or whatever. Okay, so there's gonna be some new regulations coming in and how this affects you as you're watching this. I mean, you're probably watching this because something feels off. 
And historically, we might have gone, well, it's my love life, it's my career, it's my home, it's this, it's that. This is sort of an overall wellness life, you know, kind of thing. It's not just one area. So things are going to be moving and shaking. Oh, yes. I love this card. Pink, let love in. The number is four. We're Shamuel. Here we go. So again, this could be a romantic love. You're finally saying, okay, I know what I want out of life. I know what I want uh, in my heart. It's opening your heart. But this could also be falling in love with your life and maybe realizing I can live simply so I can really make it work on less. Uh, but finding ways, hmm, again, there's this feeling, it's beyond romantic love. It's like love your work, love your lifestyle. Find a way to love your home no matter where you are gratitude practice right <laughs> it's a thing it's a thing and it's powerful but it's time to feel like it's springtime all the time in our lives where there's new beginnings there's hope there's um again just this fresh kind of uplifting feeling it's time to come out of the darkness all right so we're gonna leave it there i'm sending you all so much love and take care